How to use AutoDS for eBay dropshipping. Hey everyone and welcome, I hope you're all doing great. In this video, we'll talk about how to use the AutoDS, sorry, for eBay dropshipping and how to actually go ahead and set things up. So to get started, you will need to go ahead uh, and first, first let's actually understand uh, that AutoDS is not a free platform and it's actually going to be paid. And to see the payments, you can just go to autods.com slash pricing and you can see for eBay, uh, these plans are available. For Shopify, is going to be different. For Facebook, is going to be different, and so on. And you can go ahead and actually start 14 days uh, trial for one dollar if you want. Uh, and you can, you know, actually test things out and see if you like it or not, and then actually upgrade if uh, that's what you want. You can feel free to just compare all the pricing plans in here and see which ones suit you best. Uh, and Pretty much that's it. So after you're done, you can actually go ahead and uh, create an account. You can see on the top right, create account or get started uh, or just here, start now for $1. And it's going to basically allow you to sign up, create an account and everything. Now, as you are creating an account, it's actually going to ask you a important question, which is on which platform you want to sell. So you will need to select eBay. This is going to be within the signing up process. So just make sure you select eBay, enter your code information, and pretty much we are ready to go. So after you sign up, you should find yourself with this page. Now it also can ask you like, how did you find us and stuff? You know, simple questions basically. Afterwards, you should find uh, yourself in this page and you will need to first add your first store. So basically just click on add store on the left side, as you can see. Is pretty much the only thing that you can actually sell uh, or I mean click on next up you will actually need to add your first ebay store now like i said within the signing up process you would need to select ebay if not then i guess you will need to actually redo it um so uh, ebay targets united states if not uh you can just go ahead and select the country that you want to target united kingdom germany or whichever else that you want now, by default, the API is turned on. If you want non-API, you can also do so. But I just suggest that you keep this off. And it's also going to be, uh, you can see the uh, pricing after the trial. Now, once you're done, you just click on Finish. And just give it a little bit of time. And now, it's going to ask you to obviously log into your eBay account. So, I'm just going to continue with Google. And verify myself by selecting I'm just going to do this and get back to you so after I have selected the rabbits we can now skip this because I don't really want to simplify my login uh, and here is going to be uh, the message that you want to agree to which is you know granting the application on a DS access uh, and you just need to click on agree and that's going to be the last step for you to um finish setting up your store now i don't know why it got okay there you go so so uh, that was a little bit scary at first anyways let, let me just skip the extension now you can actually you know install an extension it's just going to make things easier for you but let's not do that right now so it's not approved regardless let's just say it was approved uh, apparently because maybe i have just created my ebay store so it may not be approved right now but if you have a legitimate uh, ebay store that you have been using it should work and be approved anyways so here you have your AutoDS uh, dashboard basically now basically what you will be doing uh there are two ways that you can actually start using AutoDS to import products to your ebay, eBay store basically if we just click on marketplace handpicked products or the rest of those are just going to show you products basically for these three, it's just going to show you like hand-picked products or trending products and stuff. So feel free to check them out if you want. Obviously, it depends on the plan. It's not going to show you a lot. But let's just focus on the marketplace because here is going to be the most important place. Basically, we can actually search for anything here. So we can actually search for specific products. And we can actually go ahead and set things up like uh, where, uh, where basically it's going to be shipping to. United States, United Kingdom, or uh, whichever country here. 
the currency that we will be using price range we can select price range uh, we can select chip, ships from so whether it's going to be from the united states or else uh, and also if you have a specific supplier that you want to work with amazon aliexpress or something else you can also uh, check those and that's go it's basically going to be the results from there afterwards it's just going to show you results as you can see here and you can also choose categories so it's very simple now once you see results that you like for example this this bottle here let's say i just want to use this i just click on it it's going to show me uh, more information about it like the title as you can see uh, images uh, reviews the uh, cost of the item the size color and also more shipping information like shipping price to United States zero and shipping and processing times two business days you can see the specifications product info policy reviews and so on so if you're pleased with this product and you actually like it you will need to click on import draft and it's actually going to take a little bit of time to finish up the import actually it had just finished uh, i just did another one previously and it just took a lot of time and i think it just glitched glitched anyways regardless after we are done with this you can actually go to drafts now and find it in there so now we're basically in the drafts section we see the products that we have uh you know added in here and we can just click on it and now we can actually go ahead and set things up meaning we can actually uh, optimize this title we can optimize the title with ai i don't think i'm not going to be uh, doing that i'm just going to optimize it myself to something else uh, so make sure the title is something fitting keyword make sure you do your keyword research and make sure that you know they're actually going to be um, something that people are looking for and nice and short and not too excessive and long category you just keep it as it is unless you want to change it tags make sure you add as many relevant tags as you can shipping methods here you can obviously edit things out like cheapest cheapest with tracking fastest with tracking obviously it's going to change the cost now here you can also add more stuff like payment policy shipping policy return policy and all of those things so if you want to add those you can just feel free to do so uh, country location and stuff in here uh, if we go to description here we also can also edit the description to our liking make sure the description is very fitting to the product that you are selling uh, and describes exactly what you are going to be selling for your customers so you don't really scam them or anything and also at the same time make sure you tell them why they should purchase this product why is it actually going to benefit them or how it's actually going to benefit them now if the product does have more than just one variant it's going to show up in here and you can either delete or keep them uh, and you can also edit each sp individual uh, variant by just clicking on edit and you can edit the price and uh, more stuff for each individual variant lastly we have the images so you can select the image that you want to use and just also select the images that you want to not use what i suggest that you do is actually go ahead and download them and it does give you the option to do so so you can just obviously delete them or download them and then just use uh, a higher quality image or you know actually compress them or just do whatever you want with it and actually go ahead to ebay and edit things out and make sure you use those instead of these ones or if you want you can just use them and set a specific one to be the main image after that is done you can just go ahead and save and import and it's actually going to import for your ebay store now you can see my drafts has another um, product here that I, I found from marketplace and you can see again variants description and so on now the other method to actually import items to your uh, ebay account or store basically instead of going to through the marketplace uh, looking for them uh, or print on demand uh, or any of those things what you can do is just click on add products single product or multiple products or stores there you go you've got anything here that you can choose but let's say we want to uh, import a product a specific product that we know of from let's say amazon we can just do so simply just click on add products single product and then we just add the supplier url or id 
but we just first we go to the supplier source click on it let's say amazon like so region united states you just go to amazon and you just paste the link in here and it's just going to actually um, import it for you within the drafts you just set things up again exactly the same way uh, you just set up the product uh, title and description variants and so on and then you just save and import and it's going to work exactly the same way so if you have orders and stuff it's all going to be in here uh, and this is pretty much how to use AutoDS for uh, drop shipping with your eBay store I hope you liked this video and this is pretty much it and thanks for watching